Why did Reconstruction go so badly? People tend to think that the Civil War ended in a great victory leading to the freedom of slaves. While this is true, the actual outcome of the Civil War was far less of an improvement because Recon Reconstruction failed due to the government's lack of coherent strategy which created a powerful vacuum in the former Confederacy. Reconstru Reconstruction failed in specific due to the fog of war, which is the confusion at the end of the Civil War. Secondly, that there was no unified political leadership. And thirdly, to ex-Confederate terrorists. My first point is that the confusion and chaos at the end of the war led to the Union mismanaging Reconstruction. So the Civil War was one of the first modern wars because there was new tactile inventions such as the telegraph for faster um, communication. They had ironclad ships, so like a better navy and ships that were really hard to sink and new ammunition that was more deadly. A new perspective on war arose, where people thought that the harsher warfare is, the better because it would be over sooner. So they made more deadly weapons, etc. General William Sherman summarized this warfare when he said, quote, the crueler it is, the sooner it will be over, unquote. So he acted this out when at the end of the war, he marched from Atlanta to Savannah, Georgia, and he was a Union officer. And he took supplies from the farms and plantations. He freed slaves, he tore up railroads and burned fields, basically demolishing the South. Um, when he arrived in Atlanta, he gave Field Order 15, which he gave land and mules to the former slaves, which he had uh, released from the plantations. And so this made the plantation owners pretty mad because they just had, because now the slaves are owning the land. Um, so the slaves would start to farm the land, but unfortunately, since this, this order never actually got legalized, it was only a field order. Once, once the slaves had farmed the land, they got kicked out and the land got given back to the plantations. So now both the owners and slaves are really mad at each other. And since this march, the, um, the war also hurt the slaves, as mentioned, and also the women and children, not just the soldiers. Um, my second point is that the internal conflict within the government led to turmoil during Reconstruction, because the government wasn't uniform, unified. This was towards the end of the year, Lincoln, not towards the end of the year, towards the end of the war, Lincoln left the Republican Party and started the National Union Party to try and create unity in the North. So he did this by um, hiring a uh, Democratic Southern Vice President, who was Andrew Johnson. Um, but this wasn't actually good because if you think about it, people could be like, so if we kill the President, the Southerners like, so then the now the new president will be the Democratic vice president. So that's what happened. So now he was dead. Now Lincoln was dead. So now Andrew Johnson was the vice, was the president and he had very different political views. He did fight in the Civil War, but he didn't really care about slaves. He did this because he didn't like that he was bullied by the rich plantation owners as a child. So he just wanted revenge, you know? So Andrew Johnson campaigned against the radical Republicans because they wanted to get more Republicans in power. He went on a speaking tour, but it didn't go very well. And he had panic attacks on stage when he was annoyed by the Republican hecklers. So the speaking tour basically gave Republicans the power against what he wanted. So he was impeached by Republicans in Congress on 11 articles but he was acquitted. During the election, he was replaced by Ulysses S. Grant. 
as Jay Moore said, quote, radical Republicans in Congress thwarted Johnson, unquote. He wasn't president anymore. Didn't get reelected. Um, so the third point is that ex-Confederate soldiers became involved in terrorism, trying to end Reconstruction. And this would be specifically the, the Ku Klux Klan. So the KKK was formed in 1865 as a club for recreation for the ex-Confederate soldiers. They had some interesting rituals, including hanging people, and they gather in the middle of the night and burn crosses. This thwarted the reconstruction efforts in the South. Um, they did this to make Southern Republicans afraid of voting for the leaders. And it pretty much worked, I guess. So, John Greenberg says, Tuskegee University work confirms that 3,446 black documented lynchings, unquote. So, the lynchings is the, like, not legal hanging of people, so... They also hung white people too. Yeah. Um, so they were originally um, copying a club called the Sons of Malta, who were popular before the Civil War. The KKK robes might be pretending to be um, Confederate ghosts who'd come back from the dead, maybe. And the burning crosses might have been, been copying like communication signals. Um, so what we know as the KKK was, uh, was all, also actually three unconnected tribes. Unlike what people think the reconstruction was and how that it was pretty great and was fine after the civil war, not the civil war fixed anything, fixed everything. It was actually really hard and it didn't really work out. Oh, and life for many was actually harder and worse after the Civil War than it had been before. Um, the Reconstruction was thwarted by the fog of war, first. Secondly, conflict between political leaders and no unified government. And third, ex-Confederate terrorists. Thank you.